First, though, tonight bullets nearly killed him, but now a Kansas City man says his race and tattoos are the reason Kansas City police did not treat him like the victim he was. New at 6, Lindsay Shively explains how a police investigation put a shooting victim's life on hold. This is where Fernando Contreras says he and some friends just came to get some beers, but before they could get inside the building, they heard gunshots. Now he says he's been the victim of much more than just a shooting. Everything happened so fast. Three gunshot wounds later. I hit on my chest. His cousin took his SUV and drove him to a hospital, but putting his life back together has been tough. Without that SUV, his cell phone, or his wallet, police took them that night after Contreras said he was handcuffed to the hospital bed. Because I got shot, is that a crime? This isn't how you treat a victim. Attorney Jean Ann Uvodich doesn't understand why the items were taken or why it has taken so long, almost two weeks, to get them back, including his SUV. And since then, it's been on hold at the Kansas City impound lot until that investigation was done. It just got released from hold this morning. Yesterday, they would not give us any time frame as to when his vehicle or his property would be released. But hours after we called. It's at 1024 a.m. This, this vehicle came off of hold uh, this morning. But Contreras will still have to pay a $200 towing fee, even though police often waive those charges. We could be looking at $65,000, $70,000 a year um, that the police waives. Not for Contreras, because he says police told him he wasn't cooperating. He argues he doesn't have any help to give. How you want me to put somebody in prison if I don't see nobody? Do you know if any other vehicles were towed from that gas station? The Kansas City Police Department declined to talk on camera, but told us the SUV and other items were taken as evidence. They did release this statement, saying in part, each investigation demands this process is completed with precision and in a consistent and well-documented manner. There's no sign the tow lot fees will be waived, but late this afternoon, we learned, Contreras could now get his other possessions by tomorrow. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.